Okay, so I've already got everything taken apart, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off the heat sink, replace the thermal pad with MX4, and I'm also going to take off the fan and replace it with some heat sinks. So I'm going to make this build this. Uh, part of it, well, this video, sorry, uh, solely on making this as efficient as possible and with no fan. So I'll be back once I got the heat sink off. Okay, so as you can see, we are now heat sinkless. So there is our processor die, and now, I open my tube up here. Just gonna put a blop on there. There we go. And now I'm gonna put this back on. And I'm gonna try and get a heat sink whoop, there we go in this hole to try to pull the heat out also a little faster so be right back okay so whoop, I dropped it shit I took some thermal pad and stuck down in that hole and I'm gonna take one of my large uh, aluminum heat sinks and I'm going to put some thermal paste, oh come on, I'm going to put some thermal paste on it and just stick it down right there, as you can see it's sticking to the thermal pad so I'll just get that stuck down there and then I have a bunch of little heat sinks, so all these are uh, copper and they come with an adhesive on them. As you can see, they're quite small compared. And I'm just going to kind of litter the whole pad here with them. So when I get that done, I'll be back. All right. So as you can see, here is our layout. And let's see how that cools because there is a lot more surface area for the heat to dissipate to instead of just this thin little uh, aluminum or maybe even steel case. No, it's it's got a little bit of magnetism to it, so it's a mixture of something. Uh, anyway, so we got one, two, eight, nine extra little ones and then the big aluminum one in the middle and plus the little pieces on the outside so let me get this all back together and we will jump to screen capture to see what the temperatures are like oh damn it I almost forgot so that little connector right there um, that I showed you in the unboxing and uh, and uh, the teardown, this um, Vuyo has released a cable for it. And that is the SATA power and data all in one. And it's a $20 cable, so expect a video on it. It's up on... Uh, It's up on uh, AliExpress. I will put the link in the description. But anyways, back to... All right. So, as you can see, our temperatures are phenomenal. I mean, look at that. Idle, 31C to 35C. Or 88 Fahrenheit to 93 Fahrenheit. Um... I mean, just astonishing. So, 
let's get this running for five minutes. Maybe even longer. I might let this one go for ten minutes, just to really heat soak everything. Okay, so, it's been five minutes and 25 seconds, and there was an issue um, earlier, uh, but that will be in another video, because... Yeah. Anyways, it shut down on me, but it wasn't because of the computer, it's because of the power wire. Again, new video for that. But, as we can see, now at 6 minutes in, we are at a phenomenal 62 to 61 Celsius. And 143 to 145 Fahrenheit. Which is astonishing, because... With the fan, it ran at this temperature. So, I did add, um, what, 10 extra heat sinks to the original heat sink. So, there's a lot more surface area to dissipate the heat, and now there's no more squeal. A high-pitched hum, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um... Because when this machine started to run hot, the fan would kick up quite high and really was ear pain. But, oh, yeah, this pops up just because Windows is like, oh my god, I'm out of memory! Anyways, um, yeah, what else? Uh, that's really about it. So, as you can see, seven minutes, we are still... Going solid at zero throttling for seven minutes. We've been running at 1.32 gigahertz pretty much the entire time. And it's just phenomenal. So, as always, man, let, let me just grab my phone. We'll just do this. Phone video. As always, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you disliked the video, well, you know what to do. Hit that like button anyways. And, yeah, click here to subscribe, and here's some videos. You'll see me in the next one. Bye-bye!